right, let me show you how to make a fantastic strawberry risotto. So tasty. It is not rice pudding. It's completely different. Strawberry's got a lot of acidity. And when you combine the strawberry with the flavor of the rice, the onions, the butter, and the balsamic vinegar, and the wine, it's changed. It becomes a different person. First of all, onion. Slice onions. If it's in the medium large onions, use about a quarter. That's good. So inside the sotto pan, I'm going to use a nice knob of butter. When almost the butter is dissolved, have the onions inside. Don't be afraid. This is so simple to do it. Keep it stirring. You sweat the onions. You do not burn the onions. Let me tell you the difference of a sweat and burn. Sweat when you jock it. Wow, you sweat it. Burn it. When you go on holiday, you stay under the sun for three hours and you become a pepperoni. That is when you actually burn. So I sweat the onions. That is fantastic indeed. Now get the rice. I'm going to put about 200 grams of this fantastic risotto rice. Yes. Keep stirring it. Don't burn it. Hallelujah. The wine you're drinking is the wine you use it. Quarter of a glass of wine. You keep stirring it until the alcohol evaporates and the sweetness of the wine stays inside. When it's almost evaporated, yes, I've got fantastic stock. For two people, you have about four to five hundred mil. Slowly, so first two and a half, let all of the stock, keep stir it because you want the rice to rub it one and get the other one together to get the lovely creamy. The rice goes like <laughs> Take almost everything is inside. It's almost what we call them a ladrone. A ladrone is a thief. He tried to grab all the flavors inside the pot. So while I'm stirring it, because it takes about another 10 minutes, we go into the strawberry. For about two people, you need about 10 strawberry. You just chop the strawberry to little square. Make sure the strawberry is nice and firm. Don't worry if they're not sweet, because as soon as you touch something hot, they're going to start to, to, to be sweet. Let's have a taste of the rice a minute. Mmm, if it needs a bit of salt, another ladle of stock inside, keep stirring it, because it's nearly there. So and let me cut a few more strawberry. You can leave some for decoration. Nearly ready. Little touch of more stock. I just want to taste it. I don't want them too wet. It is now al dente. What it means al dente is just a little bit time to cook because when you bite it to the teeth, so you have to chew it a little longer. If you chew it a little longer, you will taste it better. Surely, you said to me, can I make without a different fruit? You say, can I use orange? No, I'm sorry, you cannot use orange. Can you make with the lemon? Yes, risotto al limone, it is very, very famous. And so, and so, and so, you can make it. But remember, we don't make a pudding. Here, we make a proper risotto. Now, the strawberry goes in. Yes, because it's al dente, you can afford it to put an extra fluid inside, because you want to cook a little longer now. Look at that lovely colour they get, eh? Oh, yes. Mm. It's so good. It's ready. So, I turn it off. Nice little bit of a butter. Put about three tablespoons of a parmesan. Keep stirring it. And let it become very, very creamy. You cover. Let it rest. Bless, look what a beautiful place. 
Nice all the parmesans. Strawberry. A little drizzle of balsamic vinegar. Not too much. Yes. Can't wait. Mmm! Why I'm cooking so good! Why? Yes. Why? Because all the best goes inside the pot. The pot in a plate and from the plate to me and to me is to you. Big laugh.